Hey guys, how are you doing? I decided I'm going to share my bedroom with you. It's it's in the evening now. It's about 5.30 or so, I think. <clears throat> so it's getting a little dark. This is in the hallway, so it's dark. <laughs> but this is the first thing you see when you walk into my bedroom. Elvis. Yes, Elvis. I love him. Can you believe he said I never expected to be anybody important? <laughs> that guy. And, oh. God, he was handsome, wasn't he? Man, if I could find a guy that looked like that, whew, I'd be happy. <laughs> Even an older one. <laughs> and then, here's an L that my daughter got me from a, an antique store several years ago. I um, can't remember if it was my birthday or Mother's Day, one or the other. But that's the, the first initial of my name. And my nail polish collection oh guys i don't have enough do i <laughs> no this is years this is not just something i bought all of a sudden this is years and they're still good um if i do find one that's dried out well i throw it away but so far these are all good i've gone through them and i'm considering getting rid of the dark polishes because now that i'm 66 I'm finding that dark polishes make the hands look older. They look harsh, even not even just older people, older women. It just seems like dark polishes make your hands look, I don't know, kind of rough, kind of, I don't know. Anyway, I'm liking the more pearlized and lighter colors and like this one, for instance, I just put it on today. I got that at Dollar Tree. In fact, it's this one. It's a peachy color. It's so pretty, I love it. And my hands are kind of tan now from working out in the yard, so I really like that color. But anyway, whoops, anyway, that's my <clears throat> small collection. <laughs> and, and then here's my jewelry. I had this in the previous video, but I'll show it again. Um, I didn't know what to do with that thing that I got from Hobby Lobby many years ago. I think that was 2008 I got it. And I really didn't know what to do with it. And I thought, why not hang jewelry from it? Yeah, it's great. My necklaces are right in sight, and uh, <clears throat> I just get what I want whenever. So I really like that. They're not tangled, nice and neat. And, excuse me, kitty. <clears throat> and then, this is my nightstand. I love these lights, guys. I got these at Hobby Lobby several years ago, too. And I love the glow they give to the room. And my salt lamp, of course, and remote and tissue. And my little stars to put, I, this is what I put my phone in at night. And whatever, you know. And then my sister sent me these, my sister Gloria. There's my big sister with me. <laughs> I love that, it's so cute. <clears throat> so I have it in here to always think of her when I go to bed and when I wake up. And then I got this at Goodwill. I just loved it for $2.99, guys. I just love it. It's cracked glass and it's purple, so it goes in my room, see? And <clears throat> then I have this candle. It smells so beautiful. It's honeysuckle. My daughter gave this to me a few years ago. <clears throat> guys, I have this terrible habit when I get something like this that I love I don't use it right away because I want to hang on to it because it smells so beautiful and since it's in this little tin it stays fresh I lit it the other night it still smells just as good as new and then there's this one that my son Elliot gave me several years ago as well it still smells just as fresh it's lavender and I love the top see the pretty little top that's the year he gave it to me. How do you like that? 2014. <laughs> I've had it a while, but it still smells great because I keep it sealed. And then, see this fabric that's all over here that I have draped on there? My son Nathan bought this for me several years ago as well. This is hand painted. Can you believe that? Hand dyed. They make the designs with the dye by painting it on. Isn't that gorgeous? It was not cheap. But he got it for me, and I love it. It's got the colors of my room, so that will stay with me for a long time. But I just drape it over that. And then, guys, I had to 
redo my room because I wasn't happy. Of course, Kitty made herself at home. <laughs> She's getting nervous because it's kind of cloudy and she hates storms. Oh, she hates them. But um, I had to redo my room a little bit. I was not happy with the feng shui of it, I guess you could say. So I moved the bed to the middle of the room. This is a small bedroom, guys. This is a, a, a pretty small bedroom. Let me get over here better. But <clears throat> There we go. And as the backdrop, I have this uh, blanket that it's actually a dark purple. Looks pretty dark right there. But um, I loved it. It's a plush, beautiful blanket, but I couldn't do anything with it, use it, because my dog's fur would get all over it and it just looked terrible. But I didn't want to get rid of it. So I happened to look on, you know, Google and what to do with the blanket. And I saw this putting them behind beds. And I thought, oh, yeah, I can do that. So I put it up there, and then, you see this? This was my mother's shawl. She used to wear a shawl long, long ago. She's been, she passed on a long time ago, but that's her shawl. And her pearls, let's see. I'm not a pearl person either. Let's see if I can, there you go. See all the pearls? So I have them hanging with her shawl. So she's with me when I wake up and when I go to bed too, <laughs> in my mind. And then I put my um, dragonfly, which I got at Goodwill a long time ago. And the same with these. I got those at Goodwill a long time ago. So I put one on each corner, see? So my bedroom has a much better... And I took a bunch of stuff off of the walls. I had everything. I had something on all the walls. I just took everything down on that side and you can see so that's my bed and there's the steps for my doggies especially for this one she's so old still kicking and doing well even though she's got a couple issues she's still doing well and then over here I have another um, light I love these guys these put off such a beautiful glow at night I just love these got these several years ago and this, my son Nathan got me. This is the coolest thing. Um, you put water in here. I wish I should have put some water. But you put water in here and with a little paintbrush, you write whatever you want. Your intention, your wish, whatever. And what happens is it evaporates. <laughs> it's so cool. You write whatever you want. It evaporates into the air to go out to the universe. You send it out to the universe. Isn't that cool? And this is my doggy Capone that passed on that I still miss him so much, my baby. I drew that back in 2009. I miss him so much. And then I, what I have this on is actually it's a table that my grandkids used to use, like a tiny card table. Let me move these blankets out of the way. This is what I put on the bed for my dogs but it's a, actually a card table and underneath is where kitty this is her little den see i don't know if you can see it very well but this is her little den that she goes into in the winter she doesn't do it now because it's too warm but i have a uh, orthopedic foam wrapped in a nice little blanket and she goes under there in the winter and she's as snug and cozy as can be <laughs> my little girl right honey bunny yes yeah, she's my baby oh sorry <laughs> and then this is my my little corner where my vanity is let me get back more that's my little vanity um, I just have the essentials my lotion and curlers and you know just a few things brushes hair dryer and I put a scarf over the lamp. It's green and purple, which are my favorite colors. And I have green and purple curtains too. <clears throat> and there's a mirror that my daughter gave me a few years ago as well. So that goes perfectly right there. <clears throat> but see, it's just the essentials. Just, you know, your odds and ends. And then I have this picture from Paris, or it's a Paris picture rather. 
I love Paris. I went there in the 70s. Oh my God, guys, that's a place you have to visit. It's just amazing. But it's just a girly, girly picture, and I love it. And I am a dragonfly freak. I love dragonflies, so I happened to find this one. Uh, and I love it because it goes with my room. And I'm actually leaving the frame the color it is because I normally don't like gold tone, but this one isn't really gold on the on the on the video it looks gold it's actually a um let's see if you there we go it's more of like a coppery color so i like that and then i have this which my son nathan gave me gosh back in i think it was 2009 or 10 and i love that put all the candles in there and then of course i have my elvis switch plate cover which my son Joshua gave me many years ago but Elvis goes with me everywhere <laughs> and then my sister Gloria sent this to me just a few not too long ago a couple months I guess and I love it it used to have a bright gold frame which I didn't like so I painted it it's a dark purple it looks black but it's a dark purple and I'm not normally a floral picture person but I love this one just because it's purple and white and I love white roses so I'm just I just love it I love it it goes perfectly see I have it down there because I had to make room for my doggies steps so I moved everything kind of over there so that they can go bink 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 down the steps and out the door and then here's my my Buddha and my candles and a hat box my daughter gave me years ago but I love it the colors it looks so antique -y, Paris I just love it and this is a hummingbird the dark one is a hummingbird uh, feather and the reason that's special to me is because of an old man that I used to take care of who lived in a huge home with ceilings that were so high, unreal. Um, a hummingbird flew in one day and it got caught up in the ceiling. And I didn't want him to die. So I finally, it took me a few hours, but I coaxed him to finally go out the door with a broom. <laughs> I was carefully trying to push him towards the door and he finally went. But right before he flew out the door, a feather f fell off of him. And I don't know why, but it just felt special that he dropped me that feather right before he left to safety. So, yeah, that kind of means something to me. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that with you because um, <sighs> this room just didn't work for me. And then I put the bed in the middle, put the things on the side. And, guys, another thing, oh, my gosh. I had gotten out of the habit of making my bed in the morning because it was like, oh, what for? Who cares? Well, I started watching this video, this channel by, his name is Nicholas Fairford. And you guys should check it out. He has the coolest, oh, like Victorian. He's in England and he has the coolest stuff. But he was talking about how he makes his bed every single morning because it just makes him feel better. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. Well, I am hooked now. I make my bed right after I get up and when I come into bed at night it feels so good to come into this neat clean bedroom with a neatly made bed it feels so cozy and so good rather than a bunch of crumpled up blankets pillows everywhere you know looking a mess it actually makes me feel better guys you ought to try it if you're not doing that and I know it's hard if you're busy with kids and work and all that but try it only takes me a minute I mean I just pull the covers up and throw the pillows on and the blanket I'm done it just takes me a minute and boy does it make a difference when I come in here at night to go to bed and it feels so inviting you know like when you go into a hotel room and the beds are all nicely made and you look at them and you go oh god that's how it feels so that's my my redoing of my room simpler and um, <clears throat> better feng shui so when I walk in it feels really good now in fact I'll show you let's see let me close these curtains 
Huh, kitty? Oh, she's panting away. She knows it's getting kind of cloudy out there. Yes, she does. Yes, she does, baby. Say hello. Say hello. No. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, see? Look how nice and cozy it is. Oh, it's just, I love the way these lights, the lights look kind of bright on the, on the camera. They really look bright, but they're not. They're very dull and, and uh, very dim, rather. And the flowers on there are actually pink and white, but you can't really tell. But it's a soft, soft glow. It's weird how it shows up so bright on, on the recording. <clears throat> but it makes it so cozy to just come in. I come in here and... Me and Elvis are ready to make it a night. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> well, maybe not now. He'd be in his 70s so, or 80s, so no. Maybe back then. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, <clears throat> make your rooms cozy. Make it, make it a place where you just love to go in there, not look at it like just a place to sleep. Um, make it really cozy to whatever you like. For me, it was simplifying, taking things off the wall. I had something on every wall, and I decided, no, I'm going to let the backdrop and the lights be the focus, except for this wall, of course, which I, you know, there's my TV, and I put that picture down there because of the empty space. It didn't look right, but it's just kind of my little corner for me. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Have a nice night when you do go to bed and try to get in the habit of making your bed. It really, really makes a difference, guys. I didn't think it would, but it does. Just ask Kitty. <laughs> oh, she's kind of disappeared there. There, she made herself cozy. Right, baby? Ooh, what's that? <laughs> But there you go, guys. <clears throat> I just love my blanket, all that floral design, just by rubbing my hands over it. So cool. So take care, guys, and make your room a cozy, inviting, comfortable place to live at night because that's where you're living at night, not just sleeping. You're living there at night. Say goodbye, kitty. Doesn't she look cozy? Yeah, they're spoiled or rotten. Take care, guys.